Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits. Uh, Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits are a way to represent a complex circuit with a single resistance and a source. So uh, let's take a look at this circuit that we have right here. We can see that it, that, uh, it is a complex circuit. We have several resistors, uh, current source, voltage source all over the place. And what we are trying to calculate here, what we are trying to find is the voltage across RL, which it is our load resistor. And we can see here that the value of RL changes. Uh, that means each time there is a change in the resistance, we have to analyze the circuit again. And uh, if we have used a node analysis or mesh analysis to find the voltage across this resistor, we, and the value of the resistance change we ha we would have to use to do mesh or node analysis again and again and again that depends how many times we change the value of the resistance so uh, to avoid all this work we use Tavena or Norton equivalent circuit Tavena and Norton are derived from the perspective of the load connection points so this is our load this is the connection point uh, 1 and 2, uh, let's call this A and B connections. And uh, um, both circuits are intended to behave the same as the original circuit. That means both should behave identically. So there is a relationship between Tevena and Norton equivalent circuits. Here we have the connection points A and B. Uh, which are the load connection points. I don't have the load here anymore because we don't use the load value to calculate the Tevena or the Norton equivalent circuits. Um, from those points here, from A and B, from the connection, uh, the load connection points, we calculate the resistor and the source value that we will use to set up the equivalent circuits either Tavena or Norton equivalent circuit. The, in this circuit here, TH stands for Tavena and NO in this circuit for Norton. So uh, we can see here that the Tavena equivalent circuit is formed by a voltage source and a series resistor and the Norton equivalent circuit by a current source and a parallel resistor. Since uh, they have to behave identically, uh, I can replace a Tavenon circuit by a Norton equivalent circuit and vice versa. To do that, we use the equation uh, V Tavenon equals I Norton times R Norton or I Norton equals V Tevenin divided by R Tevenin. Uh, and uh, the resistor value here, R Norton, equals R Tevenin. So if we have, if we know uh, the, res the Tevenin resistor, we know the Norton resistor value because they are the same. And to find the value of the current source, for Norton equivalent circuit or the voltage source for Tevena equivalent circuit, we use those ex one of those expressions here. Uh, remember that those are the load connections here, which are represented the same way in the Tevena equivalent circuit and the Norton equivalent circuit. And uh, here is the equivalent circuit for Tevena and for Norton, this part here before the, the connection points. And they represent this complex circuit here, or any circuit, uh, before the, 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 the points A and B. So we can replace, when we do the, find the equivalent circuit, either Norton or uh, Tevena, is uh, we are replacing everything that we have um, before the connection points by a source, either a voltage source or a current source and a single resistor. 
Let's find the equivalent circuit for this circuit right here. So now this is going to be our original circuit. And we are going to replace it by a Tevena or Norton equivalent circuit. Uh, to help us, we are going to follow this algorithm. And the first step here is to remove the loads. Let's do it. So I removed the load and here we have only the connection points A and B. So we are going to find a uh, second step is we find the Vitevena, which is the voltage, uh, the open circuit voltage at terminals A and B. So we are going to find the voltage at these points here. We are called VAB, which is our V. Tevena. And since we, I, I am looking for voltage, I'm going to use node analysis. So let's get started. Let's find the nodes. Uh, we have here, um, let's call this my first node A, node B, node C, D, and down here is going to be our reference node. Uh, I can see that the voltage here which is VC minus VD equals our VAB, which is our V Tevena. So once I found, uh, once I find those two voltages, VC and VD, I will have my V Tevena. Here I have the matrices for node analysis. This is the conductance uh, uh, matrix, uh, the voltage. Uh, matrix and this is the source value matrix and I'm going to use the software called FreeMath to do the calculations. Uh, you can use any software you want or a graphing calculator, it's up to you. And the result is a, a 4 by 1 matrix and we have right here the results where I have for VA 90 volts, VB 0 VC 35 volts and VD 5 volts. Since Vitevena, we already uh, got the relationship here between nodes C and D, uh, is VC minus VD. So VC minus VD, my, the Vitevena will be 30 volts equals to 30 volts. So I know I found Vitevena. Now the, the next step is find I Norton, which is the short circuit current at terminals A and B. In order to find the I Norton, the current in value here, we have to place a short between terminals A and B. So here we have a short circuit between terminal A and B. When I do it, I short this resistor as well. So the short circuit here shorts this resistor. And what we are going to have now is this configuration. I'm going to use node analysis again uh, to avoid to use a uh, super mesh because we have this current source here between two meshes. And uh, uh, so I think node analysis will be easier. Let's find the nodes. So I ha here I have my node A, B, C. I don't have anything here. So, and the down here is going to be my reference node again. So this time I have only three nodes. Uh, let's set up the matrices. So this is our conductance matrix, voltage matrix. Both are multiplying. And uh, here we have our source values for, for nodes A, B, and C. And I'm using free match again, and the result is, is a 3 by 1 matrix. And we have here voltage A at node A, 9 volts, voltage at node B, 0 volts, voltage at node C, 15 volts for this configuration here, where we have a short between uh, the connection points A and B. Uh, so uh, the voltage we are looking for here, uh, because we are trying to find the current, the I Norton or I short circuit current. Uh, so uh, the, we are trying to find the current in this mesh here. Once we have the voltage across this resistor, 
The, the current flowing across the resistor will be the voltage C divided by the 10 ohm resistor. So I Norton here will be voltage C divided by 10, which is our resistor value here. So it's going to be 15 volts divided by 10. So I Norton equals 1.5 amps. Uh, this is a 5. So we found I Norton. We have V Tevenham. Now it's easy to find the, the R Tevenham or R Norton. And remember, both are the same. If you find R Tevenham, you know R Norton. Here we have V Tevenham and I Norton side by side. And now we, cal we are going to calculate R Tevenham. Also, um, and change here. R Tevena is going to be V Tevena uh, divided by I Norton. 30 volts divided by 1.5 amps is going to give us 20 ohms. So R Tevena is 20 ohms. To set up the circuit, uh, we are going to have, if we, we want a Tevena equivalent circuit, we are going to have our voltage source, which uh, is 30 volts, our resistor, our Tevena, which is 20 ohms, and here we have the connection points A and B. And I can place a load here, any load, any load value, and they can easily find uh, the voltage across this load. To Norton equivalent circuit, we we already have the current source value, uh, so it is. Let's put it here. We have this is the Norton equivalent circuit. Points A and B. Oh, this is a ugly B. Let me raise this and do we want a little bit better B. So we have the current source here is 1.5 amps and here 20 ohms. And as I said, the load resistor will be connected to points A and B. It can it can have any value uh, with this equivalent circuit through here we can cal easily calculate the voltage across the load. There is also another way to find the uh, resistance here, R Tevena or R Norton. Uh, and this method is used only when you have um, independent uh, sources such as cur independent current source and voltage sources. The way we have our circuit right here. And uh, I'm going to do uh, one video talking about that. Uh, but this is the general general way to find V Tevena, I Norton, and R Tevena. If you find V Teven and I Norton, you can easily calculate R Tevena or R Norton. And if you stick to this method, you are all set. So thanks for watching.